Those of you who got to know me much earlier, I, I'm still the same goofy person. Um, but at Oxy, I think we all began to be curious and to, to stretch, and hopefully this has become a way of life um, for all of you. Some of you stretched a lot in college. <laughs> Maybe not so much. Okay. Uh, but now, thanks to Oxy, I have found um, a voice and a way to be an advocate in in my work, I'm a lawyer, so I advocate for, for the right side of the case. And uh, I advocate for, uh, <laughs> and those who are smart and good agree with me. Uh, I also advocate for women who are survivors of domestic violence, and also, thanks to Oxy, I still dance. There's a few of you dancers out there, and I will ask for proof after dinner. Okay. So I, I've learned, as you all have, that there are things that are worth fighting for, things that are worth caring for, uh, family, of course. But I hope that you'll keep Oxy close to your heart and, and find that that's worth keeping warm and keeping uh, in touch, not only with the folks here, but the people who couldn't be here, and also that in your giving and as you make plans, you know, every year and you give as much as you can, because Oxy would be a totally different place if we didn't have classes like ours. <laughs> And it would be a really different place if uh, the school was not able to sustain the education, the physical beauty, and all, also all the robust programs that we have all benefited from. What you might not know is that even if you pay full tuition, that only accounts for 60% of an Oxy education. So for many of you who got aid, that's fantastic, someone gave for you. For many of you who's parents or for whom you paid your own way and you paid 100% like my poor parents, um, someone still gave for you. And so that's why we say to feel the Oxy love and pay it forward and um, no matter what you can give, large or small, every donation really counts. And every donation benefits all of us as we um, carry on our Oxy degree and it just makes it better and better. And so that's what I hope you'll do. Um, when Leslie called and when, when Oxy called and said, would you be a volunteer, I said yes. And um, that, was not, that was not always the answer. I was not always happy with Oxy. Um, there was a time where I had a big misunderstanding with the college and it was extremely personal. It had to do with my wedding. And, and you know what? I got over it. <laughs> so there, there are times where, you know, you don't agree with everything the school has done, but you got to know that the school is the great place that it was when you were here, and it's still great. I think it's even better uh, with the leadership of the school. And so um, please remember Oxy in your giving. And uh, if anybody else is interested in getting involved, let me know. I have no prepared comments, and I've already told people at my table that I will probably cry. So that is a preface. I just want to thank you guys for writing in. And it's been such an honor for 25 years to be your secretary. I, I consider it the highest honor to serve you in this little way. You know, the alumni office told me when, when I got the gig, when we were graduating, that it is at the classes, I serve the pleasure of the class, so that you all could replace me at any time. And I, because I said, well, how long do I, how long do I get to do this? And they said, well, it's up to your class. And so, Thank you so much. No, 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 no. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. No, no, no. But it's about, it's about you guys. No, it's about you. But, but I don't 
I don't deserve that because it's about you guys. You guys are what makes the column great. I just pull it together. I beg you and harangue you obnoxiously every six months. I say, oh, hi, oh, please, oh, please, you know what to do. Oh, please tell your friends. And then I wait and I check my email, you know, obsessively. And then I pull it together and then I vow to thank each and every one of you. And then I often, in fact, recently, well, pretty much since I had kids, I don't email you each back and thank you. You just know that your stuff got to me by reading it months later in the magazine. So I feel very guilty about that. Um, but you guys are an amazing class. I think, I think the combined compassion and integrity of this class, the people in this class are not people who go, well, someone else will, they, whoever the nameless faces, they, they will do it. No, you guys step up and do it. You're making a difference, whether it's in your family or in your community or in your work, your your church, wherever, whatever you're doing, you guys feel that responsibility to make a difference, and you're generous with yourselves and your time, and it's such an honor to know you. I'm so proud to be a part of this class, and I just love you guys. But please, please keep writing in. We have we're more alike than we are different, and I want to say something. A lot of people have said to me over the years, oh, well, I don't really have any news. Or, gosh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna name names. Somebody even last night said, well, my news isn't worthy of being in the magazine. People have this thing, like, they have to have been promoted, um, just made a great sale, bought a fabulous <laughs> house, their children have to have gotten some award. No. You know, you guys, there are people in our class right now who've just been laid off. There's a woman in our class who has no hair right now because she's going through chemo and she's wearing a wig. There are all kinds, there are people who are getting divorced. So it's life, you guys, and don't feel that you have to have some incredible achievement to be included in our class notes. Share as you will or don't, but don't have this judging thing. You know, we're all in it together and it's really a neat opportunity to hear how other people are and to connect. Um, some of my dearest friends in the whole world are here tonight and I know many of you feel that same way. And so please, please let's stay connected. And can you imagine what this is going to be like in another 25 years? Okay, I hope, I hope you'll all be here. 50 Club Reunion, right? 50 Year Club. Love you guys. Woo!